Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be talking about ChatGPT and business uses. There are so many ways that you can utilize ChatGPT, but we're going to kind of angle it and talk a little bit more about business aspects. Let be, let's begin. So what I actually did is come up with a very quick notepad. There's probably a hundred, hundred plus ways of doing this. I just don't want to create a video that's an hour, given the fact I do have other videos that can have other business aspects and I will do more. So first is going to be a mission statement. So for this, I put write a mission statement for my YouTube channel, Marketing Island. The purpose of my channel is to talk about anything marketing and software related. Let's give it a go. Okay, and like I said, it's a mission statement. It's not too long. Marketing Island's mission, mission is to provide valuable, actionable insights and strategies on all things marketing and software, empowering our audience to excel in their digital endeavors and stay ahead of the competition. Cool. Okay, and don't forget when you're using ChatGPT, you can always ask for it to write more. So I'm going to do two more unique mission statements. All right, so demystifying the ever-evolving digital landscape and equip our audience with the tools and knowledge they need to succeed in the world of marketing and software. Our mission is to bridge the gap between technology and marketing by providing in-depth analysis and expert insights on the latest software trends, strategies, and best strategies. And of course, at number two at Marketing Island, our mission is to bridge the gap between technology and marketing by providing in-depth analysis and expert insights on the latest software trends, strategies, and best practices for achieving digital success. I really like that one. So let's go back over here. And what I did is copy the end of this here, because what I want to do is just write a business plan for, okay? my YouTube channel. So need help with a business plan, maybe a strategy. We could probably change around the wording, but let's stick with this and see what we get. All right. And this just finished. and We got a really long and valuable business plan. I'm not going to read it all, but this was really good. In fact, I might have to do a separate video about this if I haven't already, because we could really play around with this and give you a good idea of where you could get going if you needed help with a business plan and you were kind of just getting up and running. But it talks about providing valuable insights and tips. Uh, target audience is professionals and businesses in the marketing industry, as well as students and individuals interested in marketing and technology. It's a very good description. This includes marketing managers, digital marketers, social media managers, and advertising professionals, among others others. Yeah. Obviously, there's going to be many more than that. Uh, content strategies, tutorials, news and analysis, interviews, and case studies. That's a good idea. Interviews. I probably could do that. Uh, I'd be very picky about who I brought on my channel, but it is a good idea. Marketing and monetization, uh, collabs, uh, sponsorships, affiliate, you know, business as usual, uh, final projections, uh, talking more about sponsors, sponsorships and partnerships as a tongue twister. And of course, in conclusion, I'm just going to keep that there momentarily. If you want to pause, feel free to read it. You could obviously rewind and do that as well. I still want to take up an hour reading all of that. That was very good. Okay. Let's continue on because we got a few more to do. We're going to change it up for writing a cold email. Okay. For this one, I just came up with, you know, usually with cold emails, you're pitching something, right? Maybe like you want to do an interview. Let's get on a call. Maybe it's just going to be a product. So the first product that came to my mind was EverWebinar. I put write a cold email for using webinars to increase your leads and sales. The product is called EverWebinar. Let's see what we get. Right, I'm going to start talking as it's loading through. So boost your leads and sales with EverWebinar, dear so-and-so. Are you looking for a powerful way to increase your leads and sales? Look no further than EverWebinar, the industry-leading webinar platform that helps businesses like yours generate more leads, boost sales, and engage with their audiences in real time. So aside from that, it's giving some nice benefits, some bullet points here. Obviously, if you're not the owner of it, I am not the owner, disclaimer. I like saying that sometimes because sometimes people feel like I own the softwares. I don't. Okay, I'm just saying our platform so it would be like the platform features include uh, some stuff here. Don't miss out on the opportunity. Schedule a demo with us. So like I said, if you're not the owner or whatever, you could also do like check it out down below and that's where your link could be or, you know, schedule a demo if you are, say, doing something along the lines of that. So once again, that's just another example of using chat GPT for business related purposes. Write an outline for an article about give me a second. All right. So an article about generating leads using Facebook groups, you know, with business comes articles. And maybe if you don't want to post an article on a blog, you could obviously chop it up. You can post it in sections. You could do maybe a script with it. You could do it with an email or just on like a social media platform for value. Okay. Let's go with this. 
All right, so once again, I'm just going to start talking as it's loading. And this looks great. I like how they break it up. So they have the introduction, lead generation, mention of Facebook groups, understanding them, kind of explaining and discussing the benefits. Then it talks about getting right into it, finding the right Facebook groups, identifying and researching, discussion of important group size. Of course, you don't want to go into a group with two people. You know, it's, you're not going to reach as many people. But if you go into a group with 100,000 people, your posts are going to be astronomically more powerful because the reach is better. Engaging with group members, you know, you could talk about what to post, what not to post, like this, tips for avoiding spamming and over-promoting, uh, measuring access and conclusion. This was great. Like if you needed help writing an article about this or just information, I'd pretty much run with this. Obviously, you could add a few more things in there, like what you might want to do when speaking to someone or when people reach out to you. Obviously, you could always add more. But once again, just another example. And last but not least, let's go with new chat. Write a social media post about, give me one second. Okay, so I changed it up a little. Write a social media post with one simple tip for increasing your sales. Ironically enough, I did a video about this previously talking about social media posts, but you're going to get an idea of how it works with this. Let's click on the button here. All right, it was taking a little while to load and I reloaded it and refreshed it and it had that uh, thing there where they're experiencing high traffic. So I'm just going to run it again. It should go quicker. Okay, very short, but it is a simple tip. Uh, try offering a limited time discount or promotion. Uh, write two more tips. Right. So these are little unique, probably not the biggest tips in the world, but they can make a difference depending on what you have. So it just says improve your product photography. It's funny they say that because I have some professional photos coming up I'm going to be using for my thumbnails. And of course, offering excellent customer service, uh, word of mouth, responding to customers and so on and so forth. But that will conclude this video when it comes to chat GPT and of course, using it for business related purposes. I hope you got some value out of this. More importantly, I hope you got some ideas. Uh, this is actually a good one where you can just talk about increasing sales or increasing leads like just put in something that you need help with and see what it gives you for an answer you might be able to roll with it for example if you need help with like youtube thumbnails give me a good tip for increasing my click-through rate or making it more attractive or making it more uh pop out in a sea of crowded youtube thumbnails whatever it may be uh, if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment down below and that should just about do it my name is james thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video